I don't think I've ever seen a business continuity plan that's factored in wellness. So there's something that you think organizations should start to look at and what should that kind of look like as you document it? Yeah, I, I think a really good question. I think a, a, a really important point for people to take note of is that, you know, I certainly know from all the customers that I deal with, the ones that had already adopted well-being, the ones that had already seen well-being, uh, employee well-being as a responsibility of the employer, mm -hmm. weathered the storm better than those that didn't. Because what happened is it doesn't didn't matter that everyone was suddenly working from home or in different locations overnight. It didn't matter so much that people were more stressed and more anxious than they had been in the past because they had a really well-trodden path on if you are struggling in your life, this is the support we have available yeah. and this is what we're going to be able to give you as a customer. So, you know, for all the customers, we know that ran a kind of well-being hub that had links to employee assistance programs that had free counseling that had all this education about you know if you're experiencing insomnia this is something you know, how you can get to sleep yep. the importance of going out and taking walks and and, and all that self-care kind of health literacy mm -hmm. the, the organizations that had all that stuff available as soon as everyone was kind of like ah what do i do yeah it's like go to the place you always go mm -hmm. it doesn't matter that what was causing your anxiety was a pandemic it could have been previously a divorce or you could have just been stressed or it could have been money worrying you mm -hmm. you had this process where you said to employees we care about you mm -hmm. we want you to be open we want you to bring your truth to work which means we want you to tell us if you're struggling yeah and as soon as you are truthful and honest with us we have all these different routes of support mm -hmm. so those companies i see that had all that stuff already weathered the lockdown uh, and the pandemic so far really really well because people already felt like they were working for a business that cared about them. Mm -hmm. So that question I said at the start about, do you care about me? Yeah. Those organizations where people really felt like that were really primed to kind of go to their employer and say, do you know what? I feel, I, I trust you to mm -hmm. get my back. I trust that you're going to do the right thing yeah. through the pandemic. And, you know, some of those companies I saw their CEOs kind of welling up and crying in their first company updates and mm -hmm. saying, We've always wanted to put our people first and that's not changed. And we worry about you and we care about you and you want you to come to us and speak to your manager. And these companies that have said, it doesn't matter if you're having to homeschool your kids, if you want to work a couple of hours in the evening, let's facilitate that. And if your team members can join a call at eight o'clock and you know, just so you can school your kids in the middle of the day.